Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Monday. I am a hot mess right now. I need to clean my face. But we had our very first Team Optimistic Overcomers meeting yesterday. So I wanted to go over a few things that we had all talked about um, just for the people that weren't able to make it um, so they know kind of what the game plan is going forward for right now. Also, this is something that you could always send to your new BIs um, that sign up with you because it's all good information to have. And you know, when you get to the, you'll eventually get to the point where you're recruiting, 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 and you've got three or four new people on your team and you feel like you're just repeating yourself over and over again. And trust me, you're going to continue to keep repeating yourself because these people don't know the knowledge that you have, right? You it, it took you this long to get to where you are. So it's going to take them that long to catch on to. But this is just one of those things where you can send it to them and be like, there you go. One last thing that I had to repeat myself on. Okay. But one of the things that we were talking about is adding five and deleting five. So every single day is part of my morning routine. When I wake up, before I even get out of bed, I make sure I check my numbers and everything. Um... And then I go to beauty ads, beauty groups. I don't want to break any rules in these groups. So if it says absolutely no adding people because of a, a third party company or anything like that, I don't do it. Um, but I usually go to like, you know, I see all these makeup ads for like different concealers and different foundations and land hair products and things like that. I'll scroll down in the comments and I will see, you know, this looks like a very legitimate person. I'll go to their profile. They like makeup. They genuinely have a passion for it. I'm going to add them because if I can make their day brighter by seeing, by ha by having them see like my makeup videos or even get interested in my makeup, I'm going to have them on my page. I'll add them. Um, I usually do about five of those a day and then I go through and on my memories, it'll tell me, you know, you've been friends with this person for so many years. And if I haven't talked to that person in the last year, I go and delete them. Now, family, I'm not going to delete family or anything, but people that maybe I added a year ago today because I've been in the, the pharmacy industry for a year and I haven't had a sale from them. I, hadn't, I haven't had a personal conversation with them. I'll go ahead and delete them because we didn't connect. Um, one of the biggest things too about adding five and delete five, you don't just want to add these people and then expect them to jump in your inbox and be like, hey girl, give me some mascara. That never happens. You will get lucky if that ever happens comment on their things they change their profile picture gorgeous fire emoji whatever you got to do because when you comment on their stuff they're going to see more of your stuff and you're going to see more of their stuff so you can keep commenting on them and start building those relationships do you know how many people i'm friends with that i've never met in person but they are awesome legitimate people just because we created a connection and i don't even care if they buy my stuff at this point i just got i have more friends right but more friends also does mean that you're going to get more support so Add five, delete five. It helps with your algorithm. It helps widen your audience. It helps with a lot. Um, second thing that we talked about, share your goals, but don't beg for help, guys. Don't beg. When you first started out into this company, the first people that are going to be supporting you are going to be your friends, your family. Oh, yeah, I just want to support you. I don't care if you're selling mascara, laundry, soap, or dog poop bags. I'll buy it from you because why not? I'm supporting you. But eventually, those people are only going to support you for so long before they're like, okay, cool, you have mascara. No, you have to start widening your audience and you have to stop begging for help, okay? Let's say you're running for director for the very first time. You're excited. You are so close, but you have two days left. That is the time to post your goal and say, all I'm asking for is a little bit of support to reach the highest goal I've ever hit. And I would be so grateful if all you did was spend $10, $10, okay? That's the time that you want to express where you're trying to go and people will support you. Now, if it's the first of the month and you're like, oh yeah, I'm trying to hit 25% this month. I've only got $100 in sales. Who wants to help me get to 10,000? <laughs> you know, like... Uh, less people are probably willing to to get onto your your online catalog and look at things and then it just you know if you do it too often it just makes you seem I don't want to say I don't want to use the word pathetic I don't but like it makes you seem like you're always begging for things and it can come off as unprofessional 
Um, something that I like to do kind of along those lines is every, like, once a month maybe, I'll make a post about in 2021, my team and I have sold X amount of dollars. And it's a lot. And I'm proud of that. And I can't believe how far we've come and then maybe I'll do a recognition for my team but that like also it shows my team that I'm caring and I'm thinking about them but at the same time it's showing everyone else how successful I am and I'm hoping in their mind they're like oh I want that I need that you know what I'm saying so that could help me get recruits as well so that's just something I like to do um lives versus graphics is the next thing that we talked about um People want to see you using the product. It's really easy, easy to say, oh my gosh, guys, this mascara is awesome. But if they've never seen you actually use it, do they even know that you have it in your house? Take a picture, you guys. Instead of creating a graphic that says, I'm doing a lippy, I'm doing a lip bundle. I'm going to do lip conditioner, lip balm, and a lippy for X amount of dollars. People aren't going to do that. They want to see you holding it next to your face, say, who wants 10 of these? Who wants to, to get one of these? All I need to sell is 10 and I'll hit my goal. You know, something like that where you're including the products and giving some people a suggestion for what to what to buy, that helps a lot. Um, people don't want to, they scroll past graphics because all it looks like is another ad on Facebook. So they just keep scrolling until they see the next thing that catches their eye. Your face will catch their eye, I promise. Next thing that we talked about, and the last thing that we talked about. So, learn the company. What is the company all about? You need to know at least 10 facts about the company. 10, okay? Do you know how easy it is to find out 10 facts about pharmacy? I can list 25 off right now, just off the top of my head, what I've learned over the last year. 10 is nothing. You need to have them and you need to have them memorized. So when people come up to you and ask you, what is your business? What are you all about? I'm interested in joining, but I have no idea. I've never heard of pharmacy before. Guess what? Pharmacy is an all natural company. We ban over 1300 chemicals from ever entering our products. Whereas the United States only bans 11. You need to know a bunch of facts that you can just boom, 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 boom. So you are literally just putting handcuffs on that sale and taking it home. Okay. Um, not just that, but when people want to sign up with you, they don't want to hear, oh, I don't know the answer to your question. Let me just go ask my team. Um, while it's okay to do that once or twice, if the whole conversation is, oh yeah, that's a good question. Hold on for a second. They're going to back off and they'll be like, this person doesn't even know what they're doing right now. I'm not going to sign up with them. I'm going to sign up with someone else. Or they're going to sign up alone because if you don't, if you can't help me, then I might as well just do it on my own. You know what I'm saying? Um, it makes you look more professional when you know more. So learn about the company and learn about the basic compensation plan. What are they going to be getting paid? What are they getting in each kit? What are they going to be getting if they recruit somebody? All the free stuff that we offer, the welcome program, all the monthly incentives that um, pharmacy offers. Those are the things that put us above other companies, okay? You need to have all that in your brain so when you're recruiting, you look like you are running your business and you're serious, okay? And that's going to make them more serious when they sign up too. So you'll actually have someone sign up and not just fade out. You'll have them as serious as you are, okay? Those are the things that we talked about in the meeting. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to be doing one-on-ones um, with my team. Whoever is on my team, it doesn't matter what generation, what downline you are. If you're on my team and you are active for the month, so 125 PV, you absolutely can uh, PM me at any point in time. Let me know what time works best for you. And I'm going to get you and your upline involved and we'll do a one-on-one. I'm going to scour your profile. I want to look at what you're posting. I want to see the content that you're putting out there. And then I want to give you advice on what, what has made me successful. Um, in no way, shape, or form am I making expectations for for how you should be running your business. But I'm, t I'm kind of giving you an in on how I've been running my business. I made it to director. It took a lot of hard work to get there. And I want to get you there too. Um, so that's pretty much it. Yep. So if you can't make it to these meetings, I'll just keep doing these videos so we'll have them. But the next meeting should be sometime soon. Bye, guys.